in a quiet street in London with the Darling family. There were father and mother Darling, Wendy, Michael and John, as well as the children's nursemaid, Nana, of St Bernard. At bedtime in the nursery, Wendy always told wonderful stories about Peter Pan and Neverland, a magical place with mermaids and fairies, and wicked pirates too. John and Michael liked best of all to play pirate. They had some fine slashing duels between Peter Pan and his arch-enemy, the pirate Captain Hook. Father Darling did not like this kind of play. He blamed it on Wendy's childish stories of Peter Pan. It is time for Wendy to grow up, decided Father Darling. This is your last night in the nursery, Wendy girl. All the children were much upset about that. Without Wendy, there would be no more stories of Peter Pan. That very evening, who should come to the nursery but Peter Pan, and a fairy named Pink Tinkerbell. It seemed Peter had been out looking for his lost shadow when he overheard that Wendy was to be moved from the nursery. He hit upon a plan. I'll take you to Neverland with me to tell stories to my lost boys, he decided as Wendy sewed his shadow back on. Wendy thought that was a lovely idea, but Michael and John could go too. So Peter Pan taught them all to fly. With happy thoughts and faith and trust and a sprinkling of Tinkerbell's pixie dust. Then out the window they sailed heading for Neverland while Nana barked frantically below. <laughs>